Welcome back to halftime. As promised, I'm here with Coach McCorders. Coach has been here for 16 years. You have coached a little bit of everything. Uh, football, basketball, baseball, uh, cross country, track. I think the only thing you haven't coached at Lincoln is softball. Is that correct? Uh, I think that's probably correct. Well, hang on, Bulldog fans. <laughs> There's a chance he may coach it someday as well. But 16 years. So you're married. You've got four children. And your wife is Bethany. You want to tell us a little bit about your family dynamic? Well, it, it all starts with, with my wife, Bethany. She's right. kind of the rock right. of our family. Um, you know, when you when you play football or you coach football, it's a, it's a pretty good sacrifice. And uh, she keeps everything together. Um, she keeps – and she does a great job of bringing the kids around. Coach Ricky does a great job right. of right. inviting all of our kids up here. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it gets loud up here sometimes. But, you know, our kids are up here. My kids are very comfortable with – with right. being around the program and so you know we get to we get to spend a little bit of time up here right. um, you know with all the long hours that we put in, in football right. so that, that really helps us so and, and not only long hours in football you're a high level math teacher uh, you are a top of the line teacher I know the kids love being in your class and it's a no, no nonsense kind of situation they're in there to learn and you get it done kind of the same way we do in in football um, I am so impressed you're a special teams coordinator uh, I came in here Sunday and we were prepping, I say we, you guys were prepping for this week's game and, and already, you know, all the, the, the preparation is out in front of you and, and you guys are got a plan. And uh, just like we had a plan against Jones with 42 seconds left, with you being the special teams guy, I know in your mind you're thinking, two minute drill here, let's get down there and give ourselves a shot. You want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, well, Coach Woods did a great job of calling the plays and also signal the plays. Right. And so he was in my ear calling plays, and uh, he called, you know, I think we had, it was a five-play drive, and yeah. we, we were successful all five yeah. plays right there. And I knew if we got if we can get it inside the 20 that we were going to have a shot at, at kicking that field goal. I wasn't worried about the kick. The only thing I was worried about was us being able to block yeah. for the kick because yeah. we had got one blocked earlier, earlier. in the game. Absolutely. So, you know, it was one of those things where special teams kind of gave it up early, and right. but we got a chance to redeem ourselves. And, did, and Drew did a great job on that. I was going to ask, do you talk to Drew at all before no, he goes I didn't out there? Say, I didn't say a single word to Drew because, again, I wasn't really worried about the yeah. kick yeah. Uh, or, or the snap or the hold. Right. I was really worried about making sure that they didn't get in there and block it. Yeah, and you're right. We're perfect on extra points this year, but at that point we were 0 for 2 on field goal attempts. And so it was a little bit nerve-wracking thinking, oh, here we go. But uh, one of the most exciting games I've got to call – uh, from the booth, but as far as coaching, was that one of the best finishes? Yeah, you've been it was. A part of? It, it was, and you know, it was a little bit different. You know, with me being on the field and getting the plays and the headsets and and you know, relaying those out right. there without having Coach Ricky or Coach Woods on the sidelines. Right. So right. it was a little bit different situation, but it went well. Yeah. Um, Coach Woods did a great job, yeah. and and you know, on our team, we executed well. So. And, and- Something else I love about watching practice is there is a designated time for special teams. Um, and you get your time. You get your time in the film room as well where you get to teach yep. and, and talk about it. And it's it's no um, – it's not something we push to the side like some teams, you know, and just say, well, let's, let's just work on that a little bit. But you, we focus on it, and, and it showed, yeah. and it, it paid off in our win. So you played college baseball at Connor State, is that right? Yeah, yeah I did many, many years ago. <laughs> well, <laughs> thirty or Yeah, 30 years ago, actually. Yeah. So, so that carries, carries over into your, your coaching of baseball here, too. So you, you do a great job of, of not only of being a football coach but a, a baseball coach, and I know Coach Comfort loves having you out there couple guys that you mentioned as your favorites to coach or your better athletes, uh, Michael Wilson, and then also you mentioned Jimmy Landers, who's our, one of our strength yeah. coaches. Uh, what was your yeah. experience with those guys well, and how you worked with them, and, um, or at way, least Jimmy? Way back in the day, this was 2003, uh, I was actually the offensive coordinator, so I got to call plays that year, and Jimmy actually moved over from Jinx. Yes, yes. And uh, so he was a great athlete. He was a starting corner on, like, Two, I think two or three um, state championship teams for Jinx. Wow. And so when he comes over here, we're like, we're going to hand him the football. So we <laughs> moved him to tailback, and uh, he, he carried the load for us that year. He had, a, he, had a, he had a phenomenal year. Just loved coaching him because he's put up phenomenal effort, and he was just a really good football player. And he's a really good guy. I love, I love uh, you know, teaching with him here. Sure. So yeah. it, it was, he was definitely one of my favorites to coach over the year. Well, you, uh, you are a, a fixture at Lincoln Christian, and I know the school and church appreciate you and all that you've done over the years. I know I appreciate you as a friend and a, and a coach and an assistant coach, and it's just great to talk to you and let the people kind of hear a little bit about uh, Coach Mack. Yeah. Thanks a lot.
Okay, Lincoln Bulldogs, again, one of my favorite things to do at halftime is to interview these young men. Logan Ferris, I know your dad, been around your family a long time. Uh, Scott's one of my favorite all-time elementary youth coaches. He got you started when you uh, were a little guy, for sure. And uh, here you are, senior, captain. Um, it's crazy. 5'9", uh, 175. You also play baseball. I think you're tough as nails. Yeah. W what are your thoughts on all that? I don't know. I just like playing hard and going aggressive and playing as many sports as I can. Yeah. So, so you do play baseball um, and, and football, and you had a great 2020 season. I was yes. kind of going over some of your numbers. You know, 13 games played last year, 21 solo tackles, uh, 62 assists, 83 total, 6.4 tackles a game. I'm sure this year you'd yeah. like to have more than that. Even. Yes, yes, I would like to have more than that. Yeah, tell us uh, a little bit about the first two games defensively for you. Um, I know you, uh, I know you uh, are back there playing uh, in the in the secondary. So, interception or sack? What are what's the favorite uh, uh, favorite it, option it, there? Interception for sure. Uh, just because I mean, I just like getting a chance to run it back, and I know it makes Coach Big be happy back there. So yeah, um, the first game I know you led the team in receptions. I believe you had four. I can't remember how many you had against Jones off the top of my head, but. Four or something. I, I, so you're you're one of Max's favorite targets. I yeah. mean, we'll just say that, and it's fun to watch number twenty eight out there. You know, moving around, and, yeah. and and I know you got off to a great start against Jones. I mean, he went yeah. to you early and often. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I just I don't know. I, anytime it's like a close situation, we need a first down. I know he's always looking to me, and I'm always you know ready, ready right. to take it. So. Right. You uh, return kickoff too, so. Uh, are we going to get one house this year? Are you going to take uh, it one all the way back? We'll get one house this year. I actually haven't got one yet. They keep hit, kicking it to Griff, and Griff keeps taking it almost to the house. Yeah. So hopefully they'll end up trying to kick it to me now. Yeah, the last game they kept tick, uh, kicking to Johnson. They, uh, I think he I had three returns, so that was uh, fun to watch that. So what's your number one team goal this year? I mean, to win a championship is always the number one. This is my opinion, sure. the number one goal. Sure. Um, but honestly, just growing spiritually all together and creating a brotherhood. Um, just, you know, some people we can always talk to and go to. Yeah, so. yeah. Is it tough balancing both football and baseball? No, because I got that in-between period. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's it's different. It's definitely a different, like, mindset switch, but uh, it's not it's not too different. Yeah, it's got kind of a, a halftime, if yeah. you will, of those yes. sports. But uh, are, you're a Lincoln lifer, right? Yes, You've been here the whole time. So yeah. how's that experience been? Uh, it's been great. It's been kind of it, – it's, it's gone by fast. I'll put it that way. Like – and especially just seeing like little kids like oh like I was there at that point right and you know it's kind of cool I get to talk to them about things and see how things have progressed through the schools so. right your brother um, is a big part of your life but it, yes. it's not only him but it's been fun watching those younger guys watch you guys now yeah. seniors kind of grow and you were there once and mm -hmm. now here you are and and being you know just leaders and and great role models for those guys um, your parents are a huge part uh, your your yes. mom works. Yes. Here at the school, your dad is up here volunteering and helping all the time. Mm -hmm. And tell us a little bit about them. Um, they're a huge role models in my life, and they're great role models. Um, they've time be tough to work extremely hard, and uh, always put God first. And yeah. they've they've just done a great job raising me and my brother. I th I think I heard your dad say one time that after the ball games, you guys go home and you run it back. You watch oh. it. Every every game, every. <laughs> you probably game. have uh, plans of maybe going yes. out with your friends and yeah. having a good time and just getting away from it a little bit, and you're X and Owen with yep. pops. Yep, yeah. yeah. But I, I love doing that though. Yeah, you know? yeah. Those those days, uh, I'm sure he cherishes. Yes. And and uh, so let's play this hot seat right here, huh? All right. All right. All right. All right. You kind of. I think you stole some of the questions here, but all right. Definitely. Who is your favorite cornerback in the NFL or receiver? Well, I'll let you go either way. I'll go cornerback, and it's going to be Joe Hayden because I'm a Steelers fan. Okay. And uh, I like the way he plays. He plays fast and aggressive. And okay. He plays with energy. So. They're going to be on one after uh, Sunday, so that's all right. The favorite ice cream? Uh, oh, vanilla. Vanilla. All right. Musical group? Music group? I don't know. I don't really like musical group. You um, not listen to music? I do. I don't listen to like, groups. I listen to like, artists. What's your favorite artist? Parker McCollum right now. Oh, yeah. Country. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I know... I, could you guess? I like country. Yeah. 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 All right. Nike or Under Armour? Nike. Me too. Twitter or Instagram? Instagram. Interception or home run? 
Oh, that's a tough one. Um, well, let's just put it this way: interception to uh, the house, or you know, that's even four hundred, you know, foot home run. Honestly, probably a home run. Wow, it just feels good off the bat. Yeah, yeah. So, well, don't tell Coach Ricky. Favorite pregame meal? Zio's. Zio's. That's the one I have. Y'all so. pretty much have Zio's yeah. every game, yeah. so it's everybody's favorite. But yeah. ESPN or Fox Sports? ESPN. Ah, me too. Dream school to play for, and would it be? Uh, Football or baseball? Dream school. Yeah, college, next level. I mean, like, I dream school would be OSU, play football. That, sure. That'd be the dream. Sure. So. Well, uh, Russell Claybrook, he's, you know, OSU alum over there, mm-hmm. and uh, he was a stud back in the day. So yeah. uh, you're going to be too. So, Logan, thank you for your time. Appreciate thank you. you yeah, absolutely.